in today's video i'm going to show you guys two best ways that you can highlight your test with CapCut pc let's get started you already have your screenshot on your timeline go to your left side of the software click on test select default test drag and drop in your timeline make it the same length with the screenshot now go to the right side change the color to any color you prefer with this tutorial we'll go with orange then go to default test delete that and type in underscore two times now use the all screen controls and move it to the first test or the test that you want to highlight now scroll down go to uniform skill make sure you turn that off so we we'll use the width and the height to work around this. Start with the width, let's increase it a little bit and move it on the test. Now I use the height to increase it a little bit so we can get it big enough on the test. Move it right on top. And from the look of things, we can't really see it so we can increase the size of it on this side so we can see exactly how it looks like. Now go to opacity, turn down to somewhere 50%, place it nicely on the first test. So now it looks good. Turn the opacity back to 100%. Still with the default test selected go to animation select wipe right and now you can see the animation how it looks like it looks a bit short so we need to increase that so you can go somewhere 10 to 11 seconds click on your test command or control c if you're using a pc go to your first frame then go five frames forward command v or control v if you're using a pc and this time around we we'll just drag it to the second test so we use the on-screen controls make sure you go to somewhere in the middle use the on-screen controls and drag it to the second test now repeat that for the rest of the test now make sure the ending is the same with the screenshot so we just drag this and move it to this side so it will be the same length with the rest of them the next step make a compound clip of all the tests so we just select all right click that and create compound clip then click on the compound clip go to basic and change the blend mode to multiply or linear bear and just like that you have your test easily highlighted now let's go to second method click on the screenshot command c or control c to copy then command v or control v to paste it drag it to the next line then select the duplicate screenshot we just made go to your right side turn on the canvas then over there you can change the color to any color you want we can go with red with this tutorial now go to mask click on rectangle mask and then select the reverse icon now click on the on screen controls and increase the size of it to cover the whole screen then make a compound clip of it drag it to the top of the main screenshot that we have now click on the compound clip go to basic turn down the opacity to somewhere 50 percent so we can see exactly how it looks like now use the on screen controls and reduce the size of it drag it to where you want to highlight this time around we just want to highlight this test and this we can still work around the scale so just go to uniform scale turn off the uniform scale and now you can use the height to increase it and also the width to reduce it so you can get it nicely around the chest this looks okay go back to opacity and turn it back to 100 percent now go to mask select rectangle and once again select this reverse icon and use the on screen to increase the size of it so with this we can go to somewhere like this looks pretty cool so with the compound clip selected go to animation and select one of the animation in and out for this flip looks really cool with this kind of effect so i'll select flip in Increase the duration of it a little bit and then go to out and select the same flip for it so now we have something like this comes in nice and clean highlight the test this is a playlist on CapCut that i think you might be interested in all right guys catch you on the next one peace